is going on my loves welcome to my channel and i believe this is going to be my first video so if it ends up being that way welcome to the first official video of this channel i am super excited super happy i can't believe it's finally happening and all because i decided to take action and actually do it so here we go we're gonna be making a butternut squash roasted butternut squash the roasted part just like makes all the difference not just with butternut squash, with anything in life. <laughs> Seriously, you roast anything and it just tastes good. But today we're gonna be doing a roasted butternut squash soup, which is super simple to make and that's one of my favorite parts about it because I just don't like doing and making overcomplicated recipes. So this one tastes incredible. It has been approved by my yogi family <laughs> here in Delray and I am super excited to share the recipe with you guys because like I said, it's easy to make, it's super delicious and just something good to have in your fridge. Especially, I was gonna say with the winter months coming up, but mm -mm, it's only August. Winter is not <laughs> that close, unless you live in Canada. And if you do, then this might be a good one for you. But either way, it's something good to just have in the fridge if you're feeling like having some soup with a lot of flavor, a lot of love. So let's get into it. So I may have gotten a little bit ahead of the game and made the butternut squash before actually showing you guys, but it's really simple to make. All I did was, one large butternut squash, chopped it up in four pieces because this one was really large, it was really big. But normally if it's just like the normal, like hold on, like this size butternut squash, you can just cut it in half, put some oil on it, some olive oil. I used about one teaspoon on like each side and then you put some salt on it, some ground pepper and you just face it upside down just like this one. I threw it in the oven for 40 to 50 minutes at 425 and you just pretty much wait until it is nice and soft on the inside and it looks like this. You truly don't realize how small your kitchen is until you try to film a video for YouTube, but making it work. So I'm gonna be scooping out the butternut squash. that all together <laughs> don't do that I, I mean it might be a thing but as far as I know it's not so if you try it don't blame me <laughs> anyways now that this is out of the way and we have more space comes the fun part the blending and putting it all together so I have the ninja professional I don't know if that makes a difference you can use a Vitamix you can use any blender that you have at home as far as I know <laughs> You have to make sure that you make a mess, or else did you even cook? If you thought that by fun part I meant the blending, I actually did, and then I remember that I actually have to cook. <laughs> I have to saute a little bit the shallot and the garlic, so we're gonna be doing just that. So, about half a cup of shallot, four garlic cloves, 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 cloves. <laughs> 1 8 teaspoon of nutmeg which we'll actually be using in the blender so not quite here yet and then i also did like 1 16th of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper just for a little kick because after going to india i need to have spicy and everything small skillet warming it up at medium heat one tablespoon of this beautiful terra de lisa extra virgin olive oil Wait, I know how to say olive oil in Italian. It's olio. I don't know how to say. I'm like extremely disappointed in myself because for the amount of times that I've been to Italy, I should know how to say olive oil in Italian. Olio di oliva. Olio. I'm gonna Google it. This is how I learned Italian. Actually, I try to like speak it throughout the day, and then I just Google what I don't know how to say. Definitely my favorite language. Yeah. I was gonna say other than Spanish, but like Spanish just isn't that special to me because I speak it. So of course I have to be like everybody else and want what I don't have. <laughs> Olio de oliva. <laughs> See, isn't Google just like the biggest blessing? <laughs> so wait until the oil is shimmering, which is looks pretty ready to me. I don't know if you can see it all the way from there, but hopefully you can. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and add the shallots for about three to four minutes or until they're looking soft and golden. 
So we'll add shallots, then we're adding uh, 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 salt because salt is good for the body. Once upon a time, I used to not eat salt because <laughs> Google told me that I shouldn't, so I didn't, and realized how bad that can be because without salt, our body can't actually absorb nutrients and water and feel good. So don't be scared of salt. Just make sure that you have good quality salt, like sea salt or my favorite, pink salt. ready for some garlic so we'll go ahead and add that to the mix so the garlic will wait until it's fragrant so until you can smell that nice beautiful garlic smell that you can also get if you eat too much garlic so be careful <laughs> or don't if you like the smell of garlic and you want to rock the smell the fragrance on your skin and your body then do it I won't judge you all right so this time for real it is time for the fun Part. The blending, the mixing, the uniting and becoming one, just like yoga. <laughs> okay. One tablespoon, one teaspoon of maple syrup, or you can do more if you're Canadian or if you just like sweets. One eighth teaspoon of nutmeg. And one sixteenth spoon, like barely any. And then a couple or a few or three or four. Or however many twists of pepper you would like. Three cups of vegetable broth. You can also make your own vegetable broth by just boiling vegetables. Um, I'm gonna use this one from Trader Joe's because I have no reason why. I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna start on low and I just work my way up. broth and that should be it guys so if you are wanting to make this and like serve it as a dinner or something you can just heat up the garlic and the shallots in a big pot that way you can just actually throw the soup in there and warm it up because you definitely do not want to cook the butternut not cook you don't want to blend the butternut squash while it's still hot because it's extremely extremely dangerous and if you do that it's not my fault all right so for storage you can definitely freeze this which is beautiful because that means you're gonna have butternut squash soup ready to go whenever in the fridge so that's amazing That isn't a beautiful, thick butternut squash soup, then I don't know what is. Wish you could try it right now. Hopefully, you make it so you can try it. <laughs> I even brought flowers for you guys. <laughs> um, but that's it. Soup is done. I got some homemade bread right here as well, which probably will be giving you guys the recipe once it tastes better because right now I have some work to do so here's the soup hopefully you do try it out and you enjoy it as much as I do because it's a super nutritious simple thing to make and to have in the fridge especially if you have a really busy schedule and you just want something quick to have that has a lot of nutrients in it as well and the beauty of butternut squash isn't that it just tastes good it actually has so many health benefits as well it's high in fiber so it means that it helps regulate your blood sugar levels it helps with your, with your digestion it's also high in potassium as well so it helps with blood pressure and it also is um, has antioxidants in it as well which help prevent cancer and just fight all those things in our body that we don't want there so all in all happy with how this came out hoping that you guys try it out mm. Mm. normally i would pray for my meal but i'll show you guys like the first test Taste test, even though I've been eating <laughs> eating it the entire time, but I'm gonna 
finish up right here but I just want to say thank you so much for tuning into the channel for watching my first video <laughs> second video technically official first like doing something video but I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys stick around um, I hope you guys have a beautiful day I'm sending you all so much love so much light and many blessings and hopefully you have an incredible day or afternoon or night whenever this video decides to come out so Again, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys so much for tuning into the channel, for supporting, and I love y'all. Have a good night. Day. Afternoon. I don't know. Bye.